Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. This is an I felt like it read, which is timeless. I would like to say, please do not live your life by the tarot. It is you who creates your own destiny. You are intelligent, beautiful or handsome, and you are kind. These readings may or may not resonate. Please subscribe, like, and share these videos. Someone may be enlightened by them. Also, to my subscribers, welcome back. And to any new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you're here. You are the backbone of this channel, and I greatly appreciate you. <clears throat> so I was going to go for a walk on the beach, right? <laughs> because I, you know, some old dude drove by earlier, and they all, they all stop at the trailer. They see the trailer. Oh, this is a nice trailer, blah, blah, blah. So I was going to talk to people here and there. I don't tell them what I do in here. But this guy is talking to me and asking me about the spot. And I'm like, yeah, it's nice. Blah, blah, blah. So anyways, it's an old guy. He already wants to take me down the beach. Drive here, drive there. No, I don't want to do that. No. He wants to tell me how he did this and did that. And back in the day, back in the day, it's over. And, he, and he's one of those people that don't let you get a word in edgewise, so you just kind of sit there and listen. You don't want to be mean and say, look, here, I want to go. <laughs> I've had to do that. Anyhow, I went for a walk, and I ran back into that guy again. He wanted to talk again. Kept me and the dog there for like an hour. And then I'm like, I'm burning out here. I got to go. I got I to gotta keep going. The guy's got a lot of trauma, obviously. And that's what always happens. When I meet people, it's like they lay their whole life stories on me. I don't know what to do. So I sit there and I lend an ear because I think maybe that's what I'm supposed to do with some people, right? Some people, until it gets to be too much. Because I have advice. And if they don't want to hear it, I'm not trying to hear anymore what they have to say. Because I'm out here to help people. You know, I'll lend that ear. And I'll end, lend the advice. But, you know. So I left and I came back to the trailer to start to prepare. I took another dip in the ocean though because I thought I need to cleanse that energy, right? Get everything ready here. <clears throat> and then the guy pulls up right as I'm about to press play. Oh my, oh, I go out there and I'm like, I'm about to do some work, you know, so I'll have to talk to you next time. And the guy will not stop talking, man. And then he busts out with, I'm a 17-time felon, blah, blah. And I'm like, whoa. That right there is telling me that I don't want to hang out with you no more. I said, why do you speak of that like you're so proud of it? And I have noticed that, you guys. Out here, you know, it's hard. I got to watch out for creepies, you know, creeps and felons and drug addicts. And the, who knows who else who? You know, I'm like gypsy status lady, you know, and I got to deal with these freaking weirdos out here. And I told him, I said, why would you think telling me that would make me like you anymore? I said, it's just the opposite. It makes me not even want to be around you now. And I told him that. People out here, you got to watch out for them that take advantage of you every second you can get. Thank goodness you're safe at home in your coziness of your home watching my reading. You know, me, I'm out here trying to fight off the elements, including humans, other humans. Let's go ahead and get started. See what's going on here. <laughs> Let's see what's happening here. Woo! Mm. We have the 36 card. This is a Gilded Reverie, uh, just to let you know. Number 36 reduces down to the number 9. Almost coming to an ending of a cycle, but you could have some sort of victory here. You just gotta, you got that cross to bear that you gotta take care of. Somebody's gotta take care of something, and then they will have victory. Whatever that is. There's something that's plaguing somebody, or on something, some, something is on someone's mind. What is this? The book. Somebody may have written something in a book. Somebody may have read something out of a book. Somebody may read something in a book that's secretive. Somebody may be reading someone's diary. Somebody has read something that's brought enlightenment, right? 26 reduces down to the number 8. 
Somebody here could uh, be a life path number eight. Something could happen in eight days, eight minutes, eight hours, right? But whatever is going to happen, whatever is revealed is going to bring some sort of prosperity, some sort of longevity. Somebody may have a great idea and that's what's going to bring success here, right? Seven of Pentacles, the 12 card, the owls, okay? Now this could be about chatter. Somebody talking to you, talk, 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 or people talking about you. But when I see the owls and then I see the moon, you could have some sort of um, bond when it comes to the divine. Somebody here does. Owls are uh, psychic, uh, a sign of psychic uh, gifts. <clears throat> Number seven, seven of pentacles. It's about healing. So somebody will have to go through some sort of healing, even though they have become enlightened to something that they have, they know that they have to take care of. You're going to have victory in that. Okay. Whatever that is, because after that, you're going, something will be revealed to you. You will find out something from somewhere. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> it, it, the, it's not a communication issue, you know smoked uh you know the flower and i usually like to vape gives you that lung cheese that <coughs> i hate that stuff anyways somebody might be receiving some sort of messages that's going to be healing it's going to be a message possibly from the universe it could even be a message from one of your ancestors somebody's ancestor maybe in a dream i'm getting and i you know i don't normally come up with that stuff but they popped into my head so i thought i'd say it and somebody could either be a young man or thinking about a young man that's just at the bottom of the deck i don't know you know what i mean so that's something a little bit kind of what's going on here let's just see what comes out this is the white seer's tarot let's just see what comes out here in regards to this story this story about uh what somebody needs to take care of something of importance right this cross to bear this is something that somebody it's like you don't want to do it but you know you have to you know and once you do though it's kind of like it will be a weight lifted you know what i mean it's like you won't be carrying that and, and you'll feel like oh my god i finally did it like you had success right and whatever that is something's going to be brought to you later like a happenstance and you're going to be like oh oh my gosh what is this and then this idea or epiphany or whatever this is it's going to bring you some sort of longevity or an idea that will bring in some sort of longevity or something that will sustain you something of a great balance in your life right Let's see what came out. I don't know. I just wanted to do a triangle <laughs> just to see, you know, what's at the bottom of the deck? Two of Pentacles. So somebody might be working hard at something. Two of Pentacles is not always um, like juggling. They're cheating. No, it could be that somebody's overworking. They've got too much on their plate. Um, too many jobs, right? We all got all these jobs right now because freaking people are losing their jobs. So people have to get other jobs to maintain their original job that they lose a lot of hours on because of the COVID or whatever, you know, everybody's going through something, right? Mm, darn it. Somebody cannot manifest a new beginning, right? somebody is being blocked off from manifesting a new beginning right because they're afraid of the judgment that will take place by the okay somebody here is afraid to do something because and they're and they're they're being watched somebody might be in jail okay doesn't have to be or could be in a rehab or being watched over somebody is unable to make any moves they're unable to watch somebody they, they can't manifest stuff either because they can't see what the other person is doing. Um, they cannot judge, right? And the Queen of Swords, 
it could be a queen of swords who cannot uh, take a leap of faith or cannot see what somebody's doing right in the background. Somebody is doing something behind her back, but she cannot see exactly what it is. She sees maybe somebody running away from her or she might be running. Uh, with the magician here in the reverse, somebody's trying to manifest somebody into making some sort of good judgment on them. Uh, but the, the judgment is, is somebody is not single. Even though they want to be, they might act like it. They might say, I want to be single. They're not, right? Um, they are unable to do that. They want to tell this to the Queen of Swords, all right? Somebody wants to tell the Queen of Swords something. Some, but she doesn't know, though. I'm telling you, she doesn't know that somebody is trying to make plans to speak to her. The problem is, is they are not single yet. And if they are, she, they want to try to make her not be single. Maybe somebody might be actually wanting to, you know, say, hey, let's be a couple or something like that. Um, but this person has a lot of boundaries. You got to watch out for her. You, you know, if you want a woman of this caliber, you have to be very open with her. You cannot hide things. You cannot block her sight from seeing anything, right? This person is in touch with, uh, Archangel Metatron, Enoch, right? This person knows something. She has knowledge, but she's not going to allow anybody or take any leaps of faith with anybody who is hiding things from her. She turns her back to manipulators also. Somebody here might be trying to manipulate her judgment, but they won't be able to. They won't. They won't. They won't do that. Okay. So, yeah. That's what I'm seeing here so far. So, we had the magician. The fo the magician in the reverse. The fool. The knight of swords in the reverse. Judgment in the upright. Queen of swords in the upright. And the nine of pentacles in the reverse. So, maybe whoever has to release these burdens, they have to release these burdens before they approach this queen of, queen of swords, right? This queen of swords, you know what that book is? That's like the, um, what do you call it? It's the um, Akashic Files. She knows a lot of stuff. She is aligned with that. So, you can't really try to pull a fast one over her eyes because she knows, right? She has direct contact with spirit or her spirit guides. So, yeah, and she's a healer also. She's also a healer. So, you got to watch out for this one. Whoever is watching this, or you could be this person even, right? That no one can pull a fast one over your eyes. You know what's coming. You get guide uh, from your spirit uh, guides and uh, angels and, you know, whoever, your ancestors. But somebody here wants, you might be single and somebody may not want you to be single. They want to take you out of that single energy. Or whoever wants to come and talk to you is not single themselves, but they want to be, right? Everybody wants something, right? Tell us about this magician in reverse. Tell us about this magician in the reverse. We got the five of pentacles. This is somebody who has suffered a loss, right? This person has suffered a loss. They're having a hard time manifesting things into their life. They, uh, so they have resorted to maybe some sort of criminal activity or manipulation or something like that, right? Yeah, they may have put another per, they may put people in third party situations or there might be a third party involved in this situation, which could be that they are not single and they want to be, right? Maybe they are trying to manifest, taking a leap of faith towards another direction in love what it looks like so what about this fool card then tell us why they don't they can't take a leap of faith right well we kind of know from what we just saw there somebody is involved right somebody's involved still and so they can't manifest anything with somebody you know I mean maybe they can but 
not relationship wise because they're already involved so what is the fool card here what is the fool card here what is the fool card reverse let's see yeah so somebody decided to walk away from that energy and go find uh oh, sorry there's another card that fell yeah somebody walked away because they realized there was no ten of cups here you see that no ten of cups ten of cups in the reverse and that means so they went off looking for wish fulfillment elsewhere and they won't be taking a leap of faith with this person who's already shacked up somewhere why would somebody and so that person they're trying to manipulate that's why they're not trying to manifest like a new love they're trying to manipulate this new love because they're already taken because how how else are you going to invite new love in your life if you're already married right you got to manipulate them you got to lie you got to be saying things to you know try to c convince them right so somebody wants to have a conversation with somebody, but they cannot communicate. There's no, maybe no means of communication. Like I said, somebody could be a rehab, somebody could be in jail, or somebody could be just being watched by their spouse or whoever, right? Whoever is watching them so to make sure they don't do anything, checking their phone, you know, doing whatever they need to, right? To make sure this person doesn't do stuff. So this person wants to have a de heated debate and they want to say to this queen of swords, hey, you are my wish fulfillment. You are my ten of cups. But I'm worried that there's competition here. Right? Prob but that's why they're worried. Because they can't see. Nobody can hear can see what's going on with the other. Because, you know, maybe they're not making it shown. I, you know. I mean, you know, like I do this channel. That doesn't, that's not going to tell anybody what I'm doing or what I'm up to. I have a Facebook. But I, I don't go there too often. I kind of advertise a couple videos here and there and I say some uh, inspiring words throw up a music video and I'm off I don't really like to hang out on there it's a big time waster and you know Instagram and all that oh you know TikToks I don't have time for that who has time for that that's somebody who just sits around and plays on their phone all day I'm sorry but I am out here trying to be one with Mother Gaia with God and trying to heal myself you know just me you guys what is this judgment here what is this judgment card here all about try to heal myself try to heal others right i got a lifetime of healing going on <laughs> we all do you guys yup it's a burden to this person how they will judge you how you will judge them is the burden and they feel like they're going to lose out on this situation. And they probably will, depending on what they, they're doing. Especially if they're shacked up with someone and they're trying to be like, hey, let's be together. Because you're going to be like, hell no. With that ace of cups in the reverse. You're not. No, you're not. If you're with someone, you want me to be a side chick? Or you want me to? No. Are you all right? What's wrong with you? Why would you even ask such a stupid thing? Because the Queen of Swords is not a side chick. She's on her way to being Empress. I'll just tell you that much. Right? Because that's when she used, that's when she learns to speak up. To have boundaries. To use her mind. Instead of just like, okay, to everybody. Whatever they say. Yeah, she is single and abundant. Right? You can't fuck with her. So this Nine of Pentacles in reverse right here. Is for that person who wants to come in. They want to be single, but they can't. Because they're stuck with somebody. But that's them being stuck. Go to court. Divorce. If it's so terrible, do that. But somebody's not wanting to. Oh, I have too many things tied up. Well, that's your problem, not mine. Don't don't come around here. Don't come around here no more. It's not as long as you're married. I'm single and I live the single life. And I don't need to be with somebody who's married. Right? Yeah. She's not waiting for this person anymore. She's not. She's single. She's abundant. She's having her, you know, fun out here. She's got the knowledge. She speaks to God, her angels, her ancestors. She's maybe the one who has released this burden on her back. This person, this third party, this person that she was waiting for. She's not waiting anymore, I'll tell you that. She's not. She's single. She's abundant. And she is not waiting. She is getting her move on, right? What else? Anything else for this Queen of Swords? That's good though. 
Yeah, whoops, 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 whoops. I had cards flying all over. <sighs> yeah, see? She's looking for a new two of cups. She's not waiting for this one. She's not waiting for that one, you know? She's not gonna look for that. Mm -mm. So, yeah. Let's see what the, this Nine of Pentacles in reverse is. Cause yeah, this Nine of Pentacles in reverse is that whoever's trying to talk to this Queen of Swords to be like, hey, what's up, you know? <laughs> When I said that, it reminded me of Night at the Roxbury. You know how when they're walking to the club and they're like, that dude's all, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? And then he has like, what's up overload or something. That's <laughs> so funny. That stupid movie. Ah, you know, I like the movies that make me laugh, you know. Yeah. Let's see what else we got here. Okay. So yeah, this person is not going to give you equal to you equally because they're still involved somewhere else that's like the same story for everyone you know it goes you know the love is going to come back blah, blah 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 but they're still involved <laughs> yeah see they're not going to let go they're not going to let go of whoever it is they're involved with there's brian you guys hi brian hi baby hi my baby okay so let's see what the final card here is Queen of Swords, there she is. This person can't let go of her either. He can't let go of you. He can't let go of who he's with. And so you're never going to have equal give and take because he is always going to be giving to another. Flip flop the energies if you need to. If it's two he's, it's two he's. If it's two she's, it's two she's. But I'm talking about he and she. So take it how you will. You will never have an equal give and take with this person because they all, will always be giving to someone else. Yet, they cannot let go of you. Look, the bottom of the deck, they will always mourn the loss of this relationship. They will. It's this guy. I think it's this young guy who might be younger than you. You might, If you're the queen of swords, you're a little bit older than this guy, okay? So I do have the boggles here, and let's see what comes out, what letters come out, okay? I just saw, um, two, 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 two. So that might resonate with somebody out there, okay? A, J, and O. I, H, and M. S, O, and E, O, I, and U. So that could be somebody's first, somebody's middle, somebody's last initial. Maybe you could spell a word. Hell, maybe you could spell a whole sentence with that. But, you know, that's what I have for whoever's catching this video. It's kind of like a nature read off the grid, you know, combination of all, but, you know. That's what I have for you guys. Uh, if it resonated, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Uh, also, uh, keep a true love energy, you guys. Happy, friendly, loving types. We have nothing to fear as long as we stay calm and cheerful. I'm Mona. This is Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.